Ever since Katie was a little girl, she's only had one dream. Being besties with Taylor Swift? You're supposed to say learning to play bass. But that's fine, because that's what we're doing today. This is Yay! Katie's <laughs> first bass lesson. I thought this was a good opportunity to maybe do like a how to play along with guitar on bass. Yeah. Because you're a pretty good guitar player. You Thank played, you. You've gigged all by yourself, just singing and playing guitar, mm -hmm. and you've never played bass before. Nope. Right? So nope. Uh, I think the nice thing about this is uh, you're going to make some mistakes. Cool. And I'm going to do my best to correct them. And try not to laugh. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to laugh. Listen, here's the thing. <laughs> because you have so much more talent than I did at any of these instruments. So as, as bad as she might be, I was way worse. <laughs> and some people out there might be way worse. And, uh, you know, if, if you suck at something, that's the only way to get better at it, right? That's mm -hmm. true. So, we're going to play a chord progression that Katie's been out there gigging with. Hey. So why don't you play what you're going to play? Let's hear what you got. levels of maybe difficulty in. Yeah. So I'm going to start by going through each of these and then we're going to switch. You're going to play the bass and I'm going to correct what you're doing wrong. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. So what what is the name of the song that you're Kiss playing? Kiss Me More by, by Doja Cat. By Doja Cat. You posted a cover of yes, this I did. on your channel. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are the chords? It's G minor 7. Yeah. It is C7. Okay. And then F major 7. Yep. And then a sharp major seven. Yep, also known as B flat major seven. Again, two just different names for pretty much essentially the same thing. Yeah. Now, if you're out there and you're like, all right, well, how do I play bass along with this? You might not even know the notes that go into those chords, right? Uh, like, can you tell me the notes in a C7 off the top of your head? No, no of course not. People can't when they first start out. <laughs> yeah. What you're talk about. But every one of those chords starts out with a letter. Yeah. Knowing what that root note is, is the most important part. Okay, okay. so G minor seven, the first note of that is a G. And just like on guitar, the lowest four strings, E, A, D, G, are the same on a bass, on a four string bass, okay? By the way, this is the, the Fender Player Plus. We're giving away one of these. I'm gonna link you in the description of how you can win one of these. Hey. Great guitar, uh, great contest, over $1,000 free guitar, check it out. And uh, Ultra Strap. So the first one is G minor seven, right? Mm -hmm. G on the E string is right here, third fret. Okay. And then the next one is what? It is C7. So a C. You don't have to know what the dominant seven part means, just C. Third fret on the A string is a C. And the next one? Is F major seven. F major seven. First fret on the E string is an F. And then the last one? Is A sharp major seven. First fret on the A string or sixth fret on the E string. Okay. Okay? Again, two different locations. That's why it can be confusing because we're playing the same note in different locations. All right? So I can play along just playing those bass notes. Okay. Hit it. Two. Three, four. One more time. G, C, F, B flat. Okay? You gotta resolve on G. Beautiful, right? So, regardless of whether it's major or minor or dominant seven, major seven, nine, those bass notes are always gonna be helpful. On a, on a bass, right? You can just get away with just playing those singly at a time. Yeah. All right. Now the next step would be to play the root and the fifth okay. to give it a little more flavor. Okay. You're, I like you, flavor. You love flavor. You're a flavorful girl. I am very flavorful. When when we go and get sushi, you're all about these weird the Thai combinations. peanut sauce. The Thai peanut sauce. A little, a little oh too my spicy. Gosh. I could drown myself. A little in too this much. Sauce. A little too much flavor for me. I need it. I need it mild. Sounds like a you. Problem. I need it like the littlest toddler infant boy mild. That makes a lot of sense. So a little, little extra spice would be adding the fifth. Okay. Okay. So again, anytime you have a chord in a progression, whether it's major or minor, for the most part, there are exceptions which we have to mention, or else I'll get played in the comments. But the overwhelming <laughs> amount of time. The fifth of whatever that note is is going to sound good in the progression. So, there's an easy way to always find the fifth. 
on a guitar or a bass. Root note is G, down a string, two frets higher is where the fifth is. So when you have G minor or G major, whatever, you can go three E to five A. Now a lot of people will use one finger to go back and forth. Try to use a different finger. You don't have to stretch to keep it here. You don't have to play it like this. You can go like this if you want, move it. But now let's try playing it with the root of fifth. One, two, three, four. So a little bit more flavor there, right? Yeah. But now if I want to get busier, if I want to double fist it with peanut sauce and soy sauce, really just go crazy. Mix it in there. Maybe I can add the frequency in which I play the notes, okay. right? I'm just gonna play the root and the fifth of the chord, but maybe sometimes I'll get creative and be like. Maybe okay. I, we'll see what we'll hit. See what happens. Okay. Two, three, four. that was kind of in it's the same key it's definitely yummier outlining the chords <laughs> the next part uh, is going to be outlining the entire chord okay? okay this is where you need to learn the difference between major and minor okay all right so that first one g minor we can just spell out even don't even worry about the seven just take the g minor part of it we have a g any minor chord the next note in that minor chord would be three frets higher than the same string okay and then we're going to go to the fifth right so we already know the one of the five all we're doing is adding a minor third. Okay. Okay? Now the same thing for the C. It has what's called a major third. If it says C7, okay. it means C major with a flat seven. Don't worry about the seven. It didn't say minor, so we know that four frets higher from the root is gonna be where that next available note is. And then that fifth. Okay? So a root note, a minor third and a fifth. A root note, a major third and a fifth. I think it sounds cool to slide. Yeah, I know. Yeah. you're doing that, I'm like, what? I slide. <laughs> I slide all the time. Yeah. Professional slider here. F major. Two, three, four. Yeah. All right. The last thing I want to talk about is incorporating a little bit of the melody into what you're playing on bass. This isn't something you want to do while the singer's singing, but it's something you yeah. can do to kind of foreshadow different parts of the song where maybe there's not a vocal happening. You can kind of like do it. So okay. can you maybe can you play a little bit of the song and sing it at the same sure. time, Katie? Uh, okay. <clears throat> can you kiss me? step before we get copyrighted yeah right. enough that's enough mm -hmm. so i've got a few parts of that melody stick out to my ear like what are the signature parts of that melody we can find that using the notes in a scale all right like what i hear is like something like that that that's something you could add on a bass you have to find out where those notes are the best way to do that is to learn the major scale all over the neck. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't want to hear that. People don't want to hear that this is a song in the key of F major, so I have to learn all these notes. But again, if you do if you take the time, it'll always be easier to find that. Something like that, right? mm -hmm. or the. That's another part of the melody. Yeah. Right? So maybe if there's not singing, you can play those chords and I can play what I just played. One, two, three, four. Okay, so 
Mm -hmm. In that example, the bass is taking on more of a melodic Mm -hmm. kind of role Mm -hmm. in what we're doing, right? Yeah. Again, you could play the, you could just find all the actual notes being sung by the melody. I think it's always cool to like start off there, like the. Whatever, then just add stuff in your shape to yeah. kind of put your own spin on it instrumentally of what the melody is. Because again, most songs are all about the melody. Mm-hmm. You want to incorporate the cool parts of the melody. But again, those are like a lot of just different ways, just different kind of ideas on how to start playing bass. Okay. So now it's your turn. Mm. We're going to switch. Okay. And I'm going to play guitar. I don't know if I'm going to get to the same bass. level as it does, you. It does, it's not about getting to a certain level. It's about having fun on the <laughs> instrument. And that's exactly what we're going to do. You ready? No. All right, so why don't you go ahead and find the bass, the bass notes first. Four bass notes, right? So the G is where? There you go, three on the E string, yeah. then what? Very good. Okay. Then where's the F? Good job. And the B flat? Perfect. All right, cool. Let's play it together. Two, three, four. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, I totally meant. For if you're new, <laughs> if you're new to the guitar slash bass dynamic, people love to rip on bass players. Yeah. Do you know why that is? It's sort of, but I don't get it. Okay, well here's much. the thing: because you know. could be a bass player just doing that. Yeah. That's that's the minimum of what you have to know. Okay. That could be all you know. Right? Yeah. It's a lot of times you just want to find somebody hot, put them on of, bass, and just flavorless, and just track bass notes, right? Okay. Uh, so yeah. it's like, you know, you say it's flavorless, but it serves a purpose. It fills out a sonic spectrum That's true. that you don't get on other instruments, maybe. Yeah. And it stays out of the way for the most part of the other instruments. It could sound good, right? Yeah. But again, the reason why we make fun of bass players being stupid all the time is because there is, unlike any other instrument, eh, you can do what you need to do easily. Yeah. But that's not playing bass. You know what I mean? Like, it is playing bass, but it's not. That's why it's kind of interesting. That's why people hate yeah. on bass. Which is stupid. Which I find myself doing just because it's funny. Yeah. But I hate on guitar players, too. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I hate, I hate on myself more than anybody. Yeah, so it's, it's just good fun. Yeah. And good fun we mock and bass players. Okay. So now, do you remember the part? The one and the five part. Uh? Yes. So your first one's G, right? Yes. So where's the fifth of G? There you go. It's always just right there. Then... I'm actually super laugh. impressed. Yeah, well, what's yeah. gonna happen on stage? You're gonna laugh at the guitar player a lot. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Do you feel well, how how did you feel as a player differently from what you were doing right there? I feel like I'm hanging on the seat of my pants. <laughs> right, but it's, it's a little more fun, right? I guess. I th- I think it's always yeah. more fun to kind of add a little bit. It's not it's yeah. not much. It's just no a no. I five, like right? I like adding. that I've noticed is that there's an inconsistency with the finger that you're using yes. to go to the fifth, right? Yes. Now that could be what some would consider a bad habit. Okay. Right? Like sometimes you go one to five with your pointer finger and your middle finger. Okay. I, I, I think it's to choose a finger, right? Either your ring finger or your pinky for something like that. I, I, kinda, I can't use my pinky. I really can't. You're, you're not a pinky. I'm not a yeah, pinky huh? kind of girl. I mean, I can do it. It just mm-hmm. isn't really 
come naturally. Yeah, I, I just I think do that on the piano too. I use different. Oh, it's time to get that pinky in the game, Katie. I know. All you people out there, get your pinky in the game. <laughs> Seriously, it'll it'll benefit you in ways you've my never dreamed or imagined. My pinky is just too small and fragile. That's what everybody says. No, but like, look it. at mine. It's tiny. It's not the you size. You should see my pinky toe. It's not the size. It's, it's minuscule. The, it's, it's the shape that's it's, bothering me. I don't understand. Like, why is it hooked like that? I don't know. I don't, why, does it, <laughs> why does it do this? This is a different video idea. <laughs> But uh, yeah, all right. Use your ring finger then, okay. because what that does, especially if I'm you insecure use... about my pinky finger. Okay? Well, now, well, now thousands of people know about it, <laughs> so that's great. Uh, go show Katie some love on her channel after running the contest because she's very insecure about her pinky. <laughs> and you should see that toe. Oh, oh my god. Oh man. It's kind of cute. Sure. I'm less insecure yeah. about my. It's great. Pinky toe, because it's kind of cute. You're less insecure about you. You're like, make sure my feet aren't in this shot. Eh? As before. Well, because I don't want any weirdos. Well, then you're insecure about your butt. Eh? No, I'm not insecure. Anyway, we're getting too far. To... We're getting too far off track here. Pick a finger, ring finger. <laughs> Great thing about your ring finger is it sets you up to do more forms on the guitar, like a one finger I per like fret. The, I like the yeah. thing, which is gonna help you out when it comes to learning I like more the advanced ring shapes. Finger. Yeah. There you go. So kind of. <laughs> We're gonna add one thing that I didn't talk about. Uh, so do that first one, just that G. Bum, bum. Uh, all right, so your middle, your, your ring finger, if you pop it straight down to the next string down, so 5D, that's gonna be the octave of where you started. That's the same note, so it's also always gonna work. So try going. Ah. It's okay. Good job, nice. Are you using a different finger? No, 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 here's the trick, okay? Instead of removing your finger and going down, oh. have to break it down. There you go, no, that's yeah. the right idea. Because once you do it more, see how silent that was? That's yeah. that's eventually what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna remove string noise eventually. Don't get caught up on it right now, but like, bum, 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 bum. Sounds pretty cool. Why, yeah. Why are you hating? Because you're good at this. That's, I've only played 20 years. Yeah. So all right. So try try doing that. Bum bum bum. Mm -hmm. hey, that's fine. Then see. <laughs> Down is ready. No. Good job. But I didn't do the finger roll. No. I can't, I can't actually see it right here. Oh, you cheated. Good, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's great. Uh, again, you don't guitar. have to incorporate that right now. Yeah. I don't even do that with guitar or anything. Yeah, I, yeah. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to incorporate the F major third, the arpeggio, right? So remember the F is the first fret, mm -hmm. right? And then we're going to go slide ring finger three to five. Same string. Bow, bow, bow. All the oh, string. Oh, um... Do three to five. I oh, like this. Your ring oh, finger. Okay. Oh. Different finger. And then your pointer finger, 3A. Got it. How do you do the fast? Because I'm using a different finger. Oh, I'm using right. one finger. There it is. Perfect. <laughs> hey, that's, that's fine. As long as you know what you're doing in your mind's eye, that's the most important part. Uh, Good job. <laughs> I can't. You're doing a great job, Katie. Yeah. Isn't this girl doing a great job? I don't Come think on. my ring finger has worked this hard before. That's it. Hey, it's working overtime today. You're a bass player now. <laughs> so here's what we got. We've got root to five on the G, same on the C, on the F. See here?
here's the point, okay? I'm a little slow. Yeah, I, don't, I think you're picking up great. The point is, learning it in this way, you're learning how to spell chords out throughout the fretboard. Yes. Okay? So it's not just about, okay, the F, first fret on the E string, slide to the fifth fret. I close my eyes and try to do it, I can't even do it. First fret, slide to the fifth fret, then third fret on the A string. Those are three notes that you have in your arsenal over an F chord, over any major chord. Okay. All right, and I think that's what bass, if you're starting out bass player, that's a great thing to learn early on. Again, I didn't know this when I started out. Yeah. I was just reading tabs and trying to like figure out, I didn't see the patterns. Once you see the patterns, like, all right. Everything starts to kind of come into place. This is the fretboard, regardless if you're playing electric guitar, acoustic guitar, bass, it's just a it's just a puzzle you gotta put together in your mind's eye. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, let's jam it out. You pick whatever you want to do. I feel like I could I could do it. Like, mix both of those techniques. Oh my! What? Together. Well, let's give it a shot. Right. Like. Let's do it. No, wait. Let me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like this is what mm -hmm. I was doing before. Yeah. And then. Sure, if you want to. Now again, that, that last one. It's, it sounds cool. Great. <laughs> there you go, again. in there for I a know. second, right? Yeah. Good job. I'm not going to make you do the melodic part. Uh, the... Yeah, I can't do that. That's, that's going to be video number two. If, if people are interested in more I videos... I mean, I can, but I just can't right now. <laughs> if y'all are interested in more videos like this, this is the first time I've done anything yeah. like this as far as like trying to teach somebody on the spot. Uh, yeah. Because a lot of people don't have the courage to make mistakes. So, so shout out to Katie for... Uh, I make lots of mistakes. For... <laughs> <laughs> Over and over again. Exhibit But A. that is why. <laughs> wait, 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 was that me? Was I, was I Exhibit A or was this Exhibit A? Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> so if you guys want to see more of this, let us know. Because uh, I think it's good for people to see other people screw up <laughs> all the time. And li listen, I mean, hey, that, that, that's the down... This is the number, re number one reason why you want to win this bass guitar is because it has a long neck. You can just... You can just smack people out from a distance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, this is, you know, it's what, what's been sorely missing from my channel. Yeah. Seeing as how I make no mistakes. <laughs> they're like, this, uh, we would never see a mistake on the Sean Daniel channel. Uh, yeah. I can't believe it. Uh, well, you know what? New Horizons. Katie, New Horizons. For sure. So make sure to enter that contest, win this bass... The rules are very simple. I'll link you to a video that explains the rules. Yeah, and if you want to hear me actually sing this song, mm -hmm. then you you'll have it linked at the end of the video, yeah, I'm assuming. Sure. Of, co of, co of course, it's the least okay. I could do for it. I take back the smacking now. Oh, thank you. You can't take back a smack. The damage has been done. The almost you can't, smack. You can't rescind physical pain. <laughs> I mean, That's a, again, the mistakes keep on coming. I wish I could. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, Katie. Thanks for coming out. You're welcome. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> 